In this video I will explain in detail the monitoring plan workflow. Before we start, note that in some of the ship in my fleet, there is an info message indicating that the monitoring plan is not created. Remember that it is not mandatory to create the monitoring plan in the system. Therefore, companies deciding not to have the monitoring plan in the system should disregard this message. I will use as an example the last ship in my list, where I have unassigned the verifier for the scope of this tutorial. Click Actions. Select Monitoring Plan and click Create. In the landing page we have four distinct sections. The message board with an expected message noting that I have unassigned the verifier from the ship. The page menu including navigation and workflow buttons. The context information of the ship we are working on, and the relevant content for the monitoring plan organized in different tabs. Let's focus on the options in the page menu. The back to my fleet is straightforward. The ship button will take you to the ship page where you can configure this ship particulars as well as record emissions and voyage information. This is similar to select in the My Fleet page the button actions, select ship and click edit. The print to PDF button allows you to get an output of the current page in a PDF file. It is very important to understand that this output is not the print version of the monitoring plan. In fact, all content of the tabs will be included in this PDF file, and not all are part of the monitoring plans, like the last three tabs. In another video we will explain how to get a PDF version of the monitoring plan which will be done in the monitoring plan revision tab. The submit to verifier button is to be used once you have finalized drafting the plan, and you want the verifier to be able to set it as assessed. In this case, because we don't have a verifier link to the ship, the button is disabled. There are two important consequences to note when a verifier within your partnerships is not assigned to the ship. The first is that the verifier will not be able to consult the monitoring plan. The second is that you will not be able to submit the plan to the verifier. To assign a verifier, we go to the ship page. Select Verifier tab. Edit. And select one of the verifiers with whom we have established a partnership. Because the monitoring plan is already created, the system asks if we would like to have the selected verifier assigned to the monitoring plan as well. We click to update. To go back to the monitoring plan, we use the button Edit Monitoring Plan. We see now that the button has become enabled because the verifier is already assigned. The info message in the message board has also been discarded. It is important to understand that the system does not control the content of the plan or its quality. The system controls only the workflow between actors. Once the plan is submitted to the verifier, as it is then under assessment, the company cannot amend it. The button revise plan is to be used once the plan is marked as assessed by the verifier, but, for some reason, the company needs to amend it. In this example, it is disabled because it can only be used once the plan is assessed or outdated. The button revalidate is to be used whenever the plan becomes outdated. Noting that the company shall check the plan at least annually, the system will change the status of the plan to outdated after one year of being assessed. When this time comes, if there is no need to amend the plan, the company may click revalidate, and the plan becomes again assessed without the intervention of the verifier. The clone button may be used if the company would like to have the current monitoring plan copied to other ships of its fleet. And the last button shall be used in case the user wishes to delete the current monitoring plan.